All right, Torov, we played Popper before already. I think we played twice already. How did it go? I had Mono Red and Green Tron, and I won both. Wow, that went better than expected, I have to say. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Welcome to another video with our favorite guest that you keep on replying and wishing for. It's Mango! Woo! And we're playing Popper. Yep. We're playing popper. I love this format. Naturally. I'm testing this format. I'm tuning this format. I have a nice, sweet little list I want to play against you, so I'm excited to play this video. Yeah, obviously I'm going to play one of the best decks in the format as well, like last time. But if you want to see Mango over and over and over, please know, if you want to see him again, subscribe here, right? Mango is the best human being ever. We want to see him every day. And well, if we get to 1 million subscribers, we'll probably buy him an apartment because it's, what, flying him every weekend is, is not the reason. But also, if you want to see more of Mango, obviously, naturally, you can find that on the internet. Yeah, or exactly, if you're I have a YouTube channel. So yeah, go check it out. Yeah, what you also check out is the match because I promise you, this one is outstanding. Welcome everybody to a new Popper video. Once again, at our market studios to play some Popper. I know my viewers love to play Popper and I also like it. I'll play Blue White Colgate and uh, this is the deck that I really like. I've been having a decent success on my local uh, scene. We have our local game store every Thursday we play Popper. And uh, I'll play this deck at Popper Gaddon in Rome. Super excited. Let's go playing some secret cards. Today against Andrea, I'm gonna play Mono Red Burn like we did the last time and like it worked out so perfectly the last time and we're just gonna repeat it. The deck is super easy. You play your creatures which are fast and aggressive. You play some spells which makes the creatures bigger, who deal some damage to your opponent. You have Monastery Swift Spear, you have Flame Breather. You basically have all the tools of very good burn spells like Chain Lightning and Lightning Bolt with some very potent creatures to kill a drag quickly. And I mean, to be fair, the deck looks kind of scary. The cards are annoying. Squadron Hog, there's so much card advantage and so many cheap ways of interacting with my board. Specifically, Prismatic Strand is a real, real big problem. But I think if he doesn't get the right draws at the right time and we have a stable draw, I think we can manage to sneak a win. It's a challenge. That means I have to win now. Let's roll the dice. Let's roll four. Sheesh. I got oh, wow. 18. 16. Whoa. Congratulations. Good luck. All right. Hand is good. It's not fantastic, but I have the Modern Age, Squadron Arc, Counter Spell. You can really get too picky with Popper. Four lands, three spells. Let's go. That is a keep for me. My starting hand could be a bit better. The Rebirth is kind of an empty card, but the starting of the game with Swift Spear into Reckless Impulse is so strong that I think I'm gonna get to a point where I can cast it because of an artifact. And then whatever card I draw, really, if it's not a land, that's gonna be good for my boss state. So that hand is probably just good to very good. Yeah, looks good. All right, Torov, I'm gonna show you a technology. I'm gonna cast a Seagate. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a blue top land that when it comes into play, you choose a color and this land adds both colors. I'm gonna show you a way that you at home can also do it. <laughs> you probably have some piece of paper laying around. And what you do is you write uh, words, letters on it, and you paint them with different uh, markers. Mm -hmm. In this case, I'm gonna use a white. Unfortunately, a white <laughs> marker on a white piece of card doesn't work, so I chose yellow, but you can probably do some other ways to signify the white colors, yeah. <laughs> this sea gate is now a uh, Azores gate. <laughs> I've never seen somebody making so much effort for a tapped land. <laughs> All right, your turn with my Azores guild gate. <laughs> it's just a guild gate. <laughs> 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 ah, all right. Well, let me show you my technology. What is <laughs> the it? German technology of playing <laughs> no, a it's so good. <laughs> Swift Sphere, you go to 19. Take go ahead. it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to play a modern age. Mm. Very powerful saga from Neon Dynasty. Draw this card, and you know what a discard? Oh, that's pretty good. What it's are you naming this? Friends. I don't know. For now, it's in my graveyard. All right. Yes. Flashback. I name a color and I fog that color. <laughs> fog you red. All right. I will draw. 
Oh boy. I could either play the Synthesizer, but if I don't reveal a land or one drop, this is actually quite awkward because then it just goes away. But if I play the Reckless Impulse, I have many more flips. It's a bit slower because I can cast a one drop. But also if I reveal two lands out of the Impulse, then I can play this, but, but that basically always happens, right? If you play an Impulse and you have two lands, you kind of have to make like land drop this turn and next turn. And I do want to play something. So I think on average, there's a decent enough chance that Impulse gets me more cards in the long run. So I'm gonna do that, even though it's a bit slower than Synthesizer. All right, we're gonna play a Great Furnace. Sure. And a Reckless Impulse. All right. So until the end of my next turn, not this one, that will be bad. Two lands, please. I excite. Oh. Two, another one. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Basically draw two. Okay. And then you take two. Seven three. And it's your turn. Untap. Draw. Main phase. Mm -hmm. Draw. This card is gate. Then I go for a squadron lock. Mm -hmm. To throw up two squadron hawks. So now, after you don't discard anymore, you play your squadron hawks, but you can't discard them, right? It's my turn? Yeah. All right. Well, draw. Yep. We have options of playing at least those two cards. All right, that's done. And then we are sinking. Okay, I will play a synthesis. Spell Pierce. It is gone. Okay, let's let's make it like this. Okay. I will cast a rebel. Wow, okay. And sacrifice the great furnace. Alright, three beautiful gobbles. Gobbles! Which makes the swift spear a 3-3, three, three, like a 3-4. Okay. So both of them attack 4-6 in total. All is right. that worth it? Nah. You know, really? Like, remember, Prismatic Strength is like really good in this matchup. Can prevent a lightning bolt and fog. Now of course six damage, it's juicy, but. I'm waiting. I think I can get a better shot for it. Go ahead. Untap. Draw. Flips. Becomes a powerful. Two, three. Liar. Then I go for a land. Play another squadron knock. Mm -hmm. Fail to find. Pass the turn. Wait, you have one more in hand, right? I mean, at least one that I know. Yeah. I finally have an interaction that you might not have foreseen, but I think it's also pretty hard to set up. Uh, but you can make your get gates red to copy the chain lightning. Ooh! Would you chain lightning? I would like to chain lightning this 2 3 flyer. I'll play counter spell. Oh, it's done. Then I would like to chain lightning the 2 3 flyer. Okay, so now I have the option to play prismatic strands. That would be very cheap strength. I think I, think I will. Ooh. Alright, red. Red. So my thing survives, your board is fogged. So at this point I actually made Andrea use the strands for just some four points of damage and the lightning bolt in my hand, which I would consider a win. This is outstandingly well for us. And now we can actually start playing the game by casting all the spells. We don't, we don't have to be afraid that something is happening. Yeah, unfortunately nothing deals damage. So I just have to play a land and pass it Yeah. On top of your row. All right, I am going to play another Modern Age. Oh! Draw this card. I'll discard an Azorius, an Azorius oh, yeah. Gate. Mm -hmm. Then I will play a Citadel Gate. Now, if you learned it from before, you can use some technology. This time I'm gonna choose the color black. Just for fun, or is there a reason? For fun. I have no <laughs> cards that deals with one ones. <laughs> Okay. And then I'll play it squad enough to finish the turn. So you fail to find? I fail to find. Go okay. Ahead. Go ahead. That could be worse. Alright, let's just say we bolt the two things, Which is chain lightning number three. Yep. And then we smack. Yep, I just have to block your goblins one at a time. All three of them. Yeah. Seven. Go ahead. Two cards in your hand. Mm -hmm. On top and draw. It's close to two. Draw this card. I'll discard a sacred cat. 
That's good. All right, I'll follow it up with a Coalition Honor Guard. This is a technology of mine. I really like this card. I think it's quite powerful. In the Which color do you play? Proper. And then I'm going to pay one. I will exile the Sacred Cat. Yeah. I don't have the proper token, but I have this very similar cat token from M19. Yeah. And I passed the turn. Oh. Now, every time you have to target me or a cat, you have to target this. In well, anything, even my stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if sure. I play an aura, I have to. Yeah, play. exactly. That's why it's a great in the mirror match because of Buzz's gate. Yeah. You can't pump your ah, things. You have ah, to pump this. Crazy. Draw. Caliente. Calitas. Caliente. All right. Reckless impulse. All right. All right. Until end of turn. Ooh. All right. That's good. Yeah. That's okay. good. Fire Blast is a great find here. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Right now, this position is great. We have a lot of creatures that can do damage. We're almost down to being lethal. If Andrea doesn't block the Swift Spear, we can actually use the prowess and kill the Honor Ward with the Flyer Blast and then deal the last points of damage. But I don't know if you noticed, but eventually I noticed we have actually lethal if we pull out correctly. So we don't have to hope that Andrea doesn't block and we just have to play their spells in the right orders and then win, I mean. <laughs> All right, yes, we start off with you're at seven. Correct. Seven. Yes, we uh, blast the Anagars. Second trigger for Swift Spear. Mm -hmm. Then we bolt the cat. No. Third trigger. Attack for six. Okay. Mountain ping. No. Ding 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 ding. Exactly zero. Yes. Good game. Good game, Torov. Sideboarding. It's a bit dull. I'm actually not quite sure. There are many options. The relic I don't really like because. It just steals away time. It's not an artifact that I really want to sacrifice. And then there's like the cats, which I sometimes can't even get. I have to sacrifice the relics uh, at that moment in time. And there are strands, but I don't think relic is good enough. I can see molten rain, but then again, I don't want to draw too many molten rains. There's also spell peers, which would be annoying to trading three mana against just one. Some of the threats of mango are so potent that I don't want to trade down a mana for that. There is Pyroblast, but it also doesn't really have many targets. Obviously, if he boards Hydroblast or Blue Elemental Blast, that trade is very good. But then again, I don't really want to spend the mana to deny a Preordain or to deny a Brainstorm. The, the Saga, I can see. You want to maybe kill the Saga, but it, it's an okay option, but also not that great. And then you have End the Festivities, which is good against all the Scratting Hawks and good against the Cats, but I assume Mango is smart enough to not overplay all of those. And we still have a lot of cards like Lava Dart who are really good against those one drops as well. So my plan would be to kind of board a little bit of everything. Since I'm on the draw now, I don't really tend to take out the full combo of Rebirth and Chromatic Stars. So I decided to board in just one Pyroblast and one end of festivities and see how that game goes. And maybe we just later on the third game if we lose this one. But I think the deck is just outstandingly great and I don't need that much help. But I have to add, since Mengu does play now Blue Elemental Blasts and Spell Pierce and Counter Spells, I don't want to have the risk of playing Fire Blast in my deck and getting encountered most of the time. So Fire Blast needs to go. So now I actually also add a copy of Molten Rain to the deck. Blue Elemental Blast comes in exactly for this matchup, so that's an easy card to bring in. What to take out? Well, Deep, deep Analysis is amazing in this lower matchup. Here, I don't want to take three damage to do it, so that's out. And I'm also cutting a couple of counter spells. They're good, don't get me wrong, but I am bringing Blue Elemental Blasts. I don't want to have too many reactive cards. Not that Blue Elemental Blast is reactive, but just counter spell. I mean, it's a matchup where I need to remove the creatures and uh, I like every other card in my deck. Game number two mm -hmm. on the play. You think it's better or worse? It's better. Yeah, I have four blue and blast. That'll help me. Mine sideboard strategy was very experimental. I would Insecure. Say. <laughs> I don't know. Hand is good. I got a couple of sacred cat, basilisk gate. Finally, they can pump the cat to attack for four lifelink on turn three. Let's do it. The viewers know what my plan was. If you could actually call that a plan, I'm not sure. <laughs> This is crazy. I mean, this is basically just a much better version than the hand I had in the game one. And I, it's the same hand. I mean, I play Swift Spear, I play Reckless Impulse, and I'm not convinced there could be many better hands than this one. So yeah, that's a keep. We love it. We love it. Look, this deck is just broken. All right, I keep. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's go. Seagate W. Oh, 
I'm not naming black tells me. Like, if you name black now, I'd be very good for it. All right, let's not name black then. Draw. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll play whatever could it be than this. Nice. Take one. 19. Go. Oh, God, I love this deck. Remember a burn deck without Swift Spear? By the way, Swift Spear is in standard. That's true. That is true indeed. No, 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 no. Okay, that's true. I'll go double Azura's Gate. Mm -hmm. And I'll play a little cat. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't worry about it. But I do worry about it. Draw. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's play land. Uh-huh. And I don't know if you noticed what my game looks like, but it's the exact All right. same. Like Two lands this time, please. Oh. Okay, mountain, 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 this mountain, is mountain, 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 This is rigged. <laughs> this is nice. Oh, attend, attend, attend. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this is so absurd. Is it me? The, the studio is fine. Don't worry, guys. This was crazy. <laughs> wow, look at this. It's okay. <laughs> also, like, oh, there's the mountain first, so you have hope that it's just nothing. Take two. 17. <laughs> Go. Draw. Oh, but at least you got the cat. I mean, that's the thing, you know? All right. I'm not playing creatures. I'm not killing Tor of Threats. He's about to play a second Swift Spear. He just can easily outgrind my drain for four or even five next turn. Probably going to kill my cat next turn. Maybe the right play here is just to dig with a preordain or a brainstorm for a Blumenthal Blast or a uh, journey to nowhere. Although I think training for four, it's good now. Forces Tor of to have an answer. If he doesn't, I think very insecure about this play. Let's see how it goes. Okay, you certainly have a strong plan. I think I'm just going for this play. I don't think it's that good, but I go Buzzing Gate. Ooh. Plus three, plus three. Attack you. How's that not good? I don't know, because you have some Swiss Spear. You do me more than four damage. So you so go to 21, 21, you go to 16. Go Mo ahead. Molten Rain. I know yeah. I can't play Molten Rain. Okay. Yeah. Then we can we can say. Oh, you can. You have the mountain. Yeah, but I want to cast no, this. Not very. <laughs> okay. Well, let's do this. Mountain, Swift Spear. Sure. I was lucky enough that Mango didn't really play the cat in game one. I assume that's also much of the part why I won that easily. But cat is a real problem. Not only is it kind of a two for one because we have to get rid of all the cats that we see once they get big enough to deal damage to five or six damage pumped by the gate, we have to get rid of it. We cannot lay it on the battlefield. It's like two cards every turn. Using both of the spears, mm -hmm. Swift Spears, sure. I will play a Chromatic Star. Okay. Triggering yes. both. Yes. And I will also Lightning Bolt the cast. That That's gives me six, six power. Three each, you take it and go to 15. 15, all right. Your turn. On my turn. Draw. Okay, good draw, good draw, good draw. I will play a Journey to Nowhere. I want to just risk here. I will play a Cat mm -hmm. from the Graveyard. And then I'll play an additional Gate. To choose which color, I think I'm gonna go for black this time. Mm -hmm. So this is the form of black where you definitely don't have the card, but you might draw it. Exactly, exactly. Nice. I think I have my line of business already. Good enough that I can afford it. Draw. Yeah. Okay, mm. let's play, I think one of the strongest cards in this matchup. Cassic Flame Breaker. A flame breather. And I still think the same issues apply as last turn, where I didn't want you to have the opportunity to not pump. So I will yes. get yes. Blast the cat, which gives you one, one damage, damage from the flame breaker. So I go to 14. And two more from the swift spear. Doink! So I go to 12. Go ahead. You have how many cards? Two. On top draw. You could go brainstorm, put back two bad cards, and then go preordain to bottom both. You're cleaning the top, but that's not what I want to do right now. Right now, I want to dig. So I go preordain first to dig three cards. If I fail, brainstorm to dig three cards. So I'm going deep of six cards by sequencing preordain into brainstorm. All right, let's begin. I'll play a preordain. Mm -hmm. I'll leave one on top and one at the bottom. Draw. 
I'll go Journey to Nowhere. Yeah. Uh, the heartbreaking. Yep, let's find it off the top with the preordain. Yeah, that works. Gone. So this is the exile zone. Yeah. <laughs> They're in holidays. Play island, and then I play another sacred cat. Uh, Go ahead. Draw. Yep. All right, let's start with cracking the star. Sure, what color do you choose? Um, I have a technology. Can you give me like a blue mana? Do you, do you want an <laughs> Red mana? <laughs> Draw. See, Carmark, if you want, I can make a customized uh, tokens to signify your mana pool. <laughs> okay, then I will use, well, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I mistapped, but I learned. So I should have tapped this. Oh, okay. Miss tapping of mono red. Yeah. That's something, that's something you can do apparently. <laughs> you probably didn't know you could, but. <laughs> because I need to. All right, mana still floating over here. Yeah, but that doesn't matter I'm because joking. I have to say it anyway. <laughs> All right. Resolves, yeah. no, no counter spell. And then we get three gobos again. Yeah. Uh, I would like to go to combat. Yes, I would like to go to combat. <laughs> Goodbye, red mana. <laughs> it's floating away. <laughs> And attack for three. No blocks. For two. For two. Exactly. You go to ten. Yeah. Go ahead. You have two cards. Three cards. That's so many. Three cards. And tap draw. Okay, I'll start with another pre -ordain. Yeah. Fighting cats seems like a terrible battle. No. But top top. Oh god. Draw. That's the worst combination. I would like to give plus four, plus four to my cat. I think I cannot allow this and try to blast it. You did. Meow! You have two cards in end. I'm at I 10. want to go journey on his Swiss spear, or do we want to deploy a cat? You know, because I have the uh, Basilisk gate around. I think it's better to go journey because the Swiss spear can deal a lot of damage. The best way to interact with burn decks in the history of magic, so in modern, for example, if you play against burn deck, first thing you wanna do is kill other creatures. And this is no difference. First, kill burns creature, so that they only have to burn you and they will not rely on their creature to deal more damage. I have to play another journey. Okay. <laughs> this is like a party here. Pass the turn. I'm at 10. 10. No rally the peasants. Take three. Seven. Play a mountain. Pass the turn. Nice! Brainstorm. Wait. I think I've lost this. No! Okay. I think this was stuck in my hand for the whole time. And every prior day I thought like, yeah, maybe the next one, you know? But And this is a combo with the, my next card. Ooh, yes! Very good. It's quite a knock. Yes. Wait, why did you... Yeah, I should have played Squadron Knock first. Yeah, why didn't you do that? A I new technology. <laughs> <laughs> we all make mistakes. One of us floats red, the other one doesn't draw three. I draw three anyway, you see? Yes. <laughs> and then I play a Squadron Knock. <laughs> and then I get a cat. Yes. Your turn. Ugh, this is terrible. All right, draw. I will attack with all. A block. Mm hmm so you take one. Two. I go to six. The cat has to survive here. Then it's your turn. Untap and draw. Mm -hmm. ha! I will uh, try to pump my cat. Plus four, plus four. I will try to blast it. No cats allowed in this game. Yes. Go. All right. Attack. Block. Okay. Well, good choice, Mengu. I will molten rain the game. <laughs> you go to four. Four. Go. Ah, draw. No. Time for one. Oh, God, no. 15. Go. <laughs> go. Come on, pass this gate. Preordain. Right? Oh, sorry, you have another plus? No, right? It's okay, right? <laughs> it's okay. okay. <laughs> uh, top, no, top. Oh, no. Tack. Yes, I go to 13, 13. 5. 
side. Go. Oh god, that's bad. Draw. Okay, star. Mm-hmm. Sec for red. Mm-hmm. Okay. Counter spell. Okay. Go ahead. On top. Play modern age. Alright. Mill one. Strands would be crazy. And three. Attack for two, you, you go, go to eleven, six. I go to six. Go. Come on, give me an impulse. I guess that works. Mm -hmm. Make three more gobbles. Yeah. And it's your turn. Draw. Draw for turn. Draw for modern age. Discard strands. No. Play Basilisk Gate. Combo! Plus five, plus five. No. I had you on one da, like da, da, six da, 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 times. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Flashback for red. Crunch for five. You get a six, I go to 11. We switch life toilets, yeah. Go. Mamma mia, as they say. This was a nice top two cards, honestly. <laughs> honestly, yeah. Uh, okay, attack for two. Mm, I got a nine. Oh, yeah. Okay. Classic flame breather, and it's your turn. On top draw. Okay, I'll flip this, play land. Uh, you are at six. I'll pump the flyer. I didn't miss it. Woo! Wow, crazy. Nice game. With losing the second game, I'm convinced enough that we do want the relics not only to remove all the cats at least one side without losing a card. That is a big upside. But also if we get rid of some prismatic strands in the process because so far it seems like Mango doesn't want to keep them in the hand and save them for later. He's really eager to discard them maybe to the modern age and then use them like on the turn with just tapping the white creature. So I think Relic actually might catch him off guard and will get some situation where we didn't spend two burn spells to get rid of one thing and that's like what I quite like. So I took out one brush worker, one star and one rebirth, just shaving some edges, you know, so we have room for some of those relics. Can I ask for just the same start? Would, would it be too much? I mean, I thought, I thought it was like you just enter the code <laughs> and you draw this, those four cards. Promise you this, this is not the same hand. Well, unfortunately, we don't have Monastery Swift Prime to impulse. I mean, wow, never lucky, I guess. But as we saw, the Flame Breather is so good against Mango's deck because it dodges some of the removal spells that get like four toughness. It also dodges a lot of the honor guard thing and the prismatic strands. It's a way for me to deal a lot of damage while also dealing with all the cats and the board state. So it just lays around and I'm probably sure if this one is not get handled and the second one is not get handled as well, the game is gonna be over really quickly. So I'm, I'm really happy with that setup. Also on the long game, I have a synthesizer which gets me into more cards. So this is, this is good. You oh, keep? Yes. My starting hand is good. Really cannot ask for more. I have a Prismatic Strands, which is the best card in the matchup. I need a Modern Age to dump it in the graveyard, but that's okay. I can also cast the Blue Elemental Blast. Lands, let's go. Okay. Okay. So Mountain Swiss Spear. Go. Boom! Rock. White. Go. Mm. We'll play a Cassic Flame Bite. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Go ahead. On top and draw. Yes, sir. In a deck like this with a lot of top lands, it's really important to understand when to take your turn off to play the top land and ship up the game. So here I could go simply top land, Blue Elemental Blast, or I could go on top land, Journey to Nowhere. Or I think there's an even better line. I go on top land, Blue Elemental Blast, go. I leave up Spell Pierce because Spell Pierce right now can counter both a Reckless Impulse, which Torf can easily have in end. First, they wanted, he wanted to deploy the 1 3 and then Reckless Impulse to deal with 1 damage. Or, an even better target, Experimental Synthesizer. You may be like, oh, it's 3 3, they go Land Synthesizer. No, usually you want to go Synthesizer first because if you flip a land, you can cast it. So I think this is the best play. I'll go Island and I'll go Blue Elemental Blast. And pass to you. That is sad. One mana vindicated. Yeah. 
mount. Mm, I will play a Swift Spear. Where, where did that come from? I had it, but I just felt it would be too close, so I played it after. Okay, yeah, I didn't want it to get blasted. I accept it, I accept it. <laughs> Take one. 19. And then we're gonna play a mountain and another flame breather. Go ahead. I'll go. Oh, it didn't get blasted. Very good. I'll play a journey. Right here. And pass. I feel like you're trying to keep spell pierce open and I'm just not playing anything. I have four lands. I want to cast Molten Rain, but I'm also pretty sure as long as Mango has Spell Pierce, he's gonna keep that up. If I draw a Mountain, which is not my best outcome, I can still cast Molten Rain through the Spell Pierce, but I really want to do that next turn. So I have the option to play the Mountain and be able to pay for a Spell Pierce, but then he wouldn't play Spell Pierce, and next turn, if I don't draw a land, then the Molten Rain is gonna be countered, and I really want to cast that next turn. But on the other hand, if I don't do it, and then I draw a land, that Molten Rain, like that Spell Pierce is actually having some value. I will play a Synthesis. Results. Trigger. All right. Trigger. Yep. Mm. Mm. So I can play that now for free, right? It's free. Except this. Woohoo! I got a Spell Pierce! <laughs> Attack for three. I get a 16. Now we'll play a land. Go. <laughs> And up and draw. Yeah. I'm gonna go for my card that I really wish was a, another card. Mm. Conditional and guard. Okay. Go. It was Garden of the Guild Pact. Ah, it is so good now. Draw. Mm hmm. Uh, now. Three. The I will. Scissor. Molten, Molten rain. rain. The gates. Yeah. Which was... It was my... Yeah, I understood, I understood. Okay. You clearly were trying to protect the spell. My problem was I still had four lands, so I could also wait yeah, until yeah, the fifth yeah, land. Yeah, yeah, but then yeah, again, I, I don't want to draw the I fifth land. I understood there was something I had to do with... Uh... Okay, so you're representing a lightning bolt here. Tour of attack with the Monastery's Fist Spear holding up mana. Pretty clear to me that he has lightning bolt. Even if he doesn't, even if it's just a bluff, because he's attacking a 2-3 into 2-4, so it's free. I think I can't afford to take two damage and respect his bluff because next turn I have access to Prismatic Strands plus the flashback. Let's be safe. I got my Coalition Honor Guard. It's a huge way to prevent the extra damage. As long as I can protect it, things are going to be good. No, I take it. I take it. Two damage. Down 12. Okay, let's go. I'll play a Citadel Gate. Naming blue. And then I pass it to you. Oh, you know what's sick? What? I just realized. This one is white. No, oh, we don't have it too. Oh. Hmm? There's not much to do. Outside of it? But I think we just... Block. Can I attack first? Yeah. Okay. Block. Attack. Yeah. Before damage, I would like to bolt the only target I can choose. Play prismatic strands. Yes. Same red. This works. Then because the two three, so nothing bad happens. It's your turn. On top and draw. Free Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Top, bottom. Drop. I play a citadel gate. Yeah, I think I'm gonna open black. Still, the option for red is possible. Just the chain to... lining? <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. Uh, you go. Draw. Heartbreakingly use the synthesizer. All right. So this is okay, sacrifice. So synthesizer, get a samurai flip. <laughs> nice, I land exactly what you needed in this spot. Well, it's an artifact, man. Oh, that's true, I didn't think about that. Could be worse. That's true. Go. On top and draw. Yeah. On tap, draw. Now that's a card I kind of enjoy. Ooh, wait. Wait for it. Two mana. Flame breather. Flame breather. Counter target spell. Okay, I think this is a bit shaky, but we're gonna do it. Mm. We're gonna chain lightning. No, no, no. All right, it's a two, four with three damage on it. 
you know, we play them out. Yeah. And I like to attack. Yeah. Chunk. No blocks. Okay. At this point, you take four. Four. I get eight. And then I would try to lever dart the other guy. Trying to lever dart to the other guard. I will uh, prevent from red. Yeah. And this resolves. It's the whole turn, so you can flash back lava dart to kill it. Go ahead. Before you pass, I'm gonna make a very strange play. I'll play the card called Destroy Evil when you are monstrous with spear. Destroy target like creature with toughness four or more. And it is four or more because I played two spells. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it strange? It's strange because one would think to cipher <laughs> this out, but with Swiss Sphere, it always gets to four toughness. Okay, I feel in a good shape here. Your turn. Draw. Go. Ooh, boss in this game. I can't do anything. Go. Okay. Well, we're gonna cast a river. Play blue. Yep. Go ahead. One tap and drop. Modern age. True. Draw this card. This card. The gate. Go. Figuring out your last card, which seems to be like a land. It must be also bad because you considered not discarding this for the gang count. I draw. Imagine I would have had the relic earlier in the game, right? It would have just got rid of one or two of those at the point I play it, which would have been a great outcome. But now, naturally, I'm kind of craving for something else. I still can't rid of the honor guard. Relic is not bad because I can still use it. It's actually even bad because I have a lover dart. Like Go. Draw. Yeah. Draw. I'll show you the bad card. Mm. I was like, is a land or spell It was better? something you considered to be worse <laughs> than the land, yeah. I'll play a brainstorm. Yeah. This is better than a land. Except if you get stuck. <sighs> play an other collision on the guard. Ugh. Hmm. And, uh... Attack. Hmm. I am down with the yeah. Eighteen. Eighteen. Go ahead. Draw. Attack. You attack. Uh, I block. Yes. Okay. Then two damage happens to my sad samurai. Adios. Who goes also on a long journey. Then we're gonna float a red mm. and ping the this honor guard. Yep. With the damage happened. Then I'm gonna play Relic. So oh, you did side it in. I did side it in, yeah. I thought it was a joke when I told No, for the third game I side it in. All right. Exile the card. Yeah. Okay, don't care, exile all cards. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I only had Lover Dart, which is like bad. All right, draw. <laughs> Basically damage you. <laughs> I will try to kill it now. Yeah. I'm gonna play an Epicure, which deals one damage to you. I go to seven. Making a blood token. Yes. And then it's your turn. Untap, draw. All right, this slips. Comes a thing, two, three flyer. Then I would like to play a second buzz of this gate. Give this plus, plus five plus five. Mm -hmm. And then I'll do it again. So yes. plus 10 plus 10, then I attack you for 12. Which makes me dead next turn to the flyer, right? Yeah, I can chum block if you want. I probably have to. Right, I will use the blood token. Sure. To discard a mountain. Yeah. And draw a card. Right, and then I will have to block. All right, go ahead. Okay, I kind of need something very good. I mean, for the given situation. We'll play a synthesizer. I'll play blue elemental blast. No, 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 no you don't. Play blue elemental blast. <laughs> Counter target spell on the stack, you have please. To <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, that's very sad. <laughs> Woo! The combo! Woo! We have a winner! <coughs> um, <coughs> yeah, go. I tap. Drop. <laughs> pump. Pump. This. Yeah. Attack for 12. Oh, so careful. You got a 6. Go. 
Draw. I guess. All right. We'll float a red and shoot the guard. Sure. I will use the red for relic and exile everything. It's a long way from now, but <laughs> you know. I don't think you, you can get out. Yeah, if I get synthesizer. Actually, synthesizer into chain lightning. So no, no, I need to kill there's... both. Yeah, I don't think there is an out. No, no, no. Well done. Woo! <laughs> I finally redeemed myself in the popper videos. Have I promised too much? I mean, that match was insane. Absolutely crazy. I'm glad I finally redeemed myself. I got a win in my popper format. True. So at least I can say that I'm not a 0 3 popper gamer against you. Sure, that puts you on 1 and 2 one on and two. One popper and two. Berlin card market feature matches. Versus Toro. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be the last time because, as I said, you are going to request more of Mango. And as long as you keep doing that, you keep liking the videos, watching the videos, subscribing and commenting while well, we're going to bring Mango back. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be more instances of that. But so far, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.